Dale Smith, also known as Danny O'Day, got his start in broadcasting at an early age. Dale was fascinated with radio, music, and sports. Rome, Georgia, where he grew up, was his first radio broadcasting experience. Dale's father was a minister, and his family moved to several cities in the state of Georgia during high school and college years. Dale's passion for broadcasting continued in Atlanta and Augusta, Georgia. He learned the basic skills of broadcasting, music programming, sports casting, sports writing, play-by-play, color commentary, and interviewing during his early years of broadcasting. Due to the demands of academics and athletics, when Dale was a track and cross-country runner in high school and college, this limited Dale's broadcasting to weekends, evenings, and holidays. Dale also knew that broadcasting would continue to be an important part of his life. Dale did contract work for several radio stations in Georgia, small town radio stations mostly, while pursuing a bachelor's degree in raising a family. Dale moved to Virginia after receiving his bachelor's degree. After several years, he decided to pursue a master's degree. In order to help finance this, he went to work for an NPR affiliate in Richmond, where he worked mainly on weekends or whenever there was a spot. This is where he learned the proper announcing style for jazz and classical music. Dale's full-time job was at a rural station just north of Richmond, where he worked late nights announcing and programming music. He was also the morning news person for this AM-FM combo. In the late 1970s, Dale came out west for a visit, liked what he saw, and moved to Wyoming in the early 1980s. He went to work as an announcer at KVOW, KTAK, in Riverton, as well as the PBS television station at Central Wyoming College. Dale was the master control operator for the station and also did some production work. When KTRZ went on the air in Riverton, Dale was the first operations manager and sports director for this new FM station. In 1983, Joe Kenny of KOVE KDLY in Lander hired Dale Smith as staff announcer, program director, and sports director. In that same year, in addition to doing the high school play-by-play, -play, Smith was hired as a broadcast instructor at Central Wyoming College. Two years later, he was named the station manager of KCWC FM in Riverton. Dale broadcast Lander Valley High School football and boys and girls basketball for over 25 years. 10 of those years with his broadcast partner, Ray Rintamaki. Lander coming out early, showing uh, that they could strike through the air and did so pretty well all night. Then uh, came out in the third quarter, all of a sudden their ground game started clicking. So uh, in the second half, we saw much more balanced Lander offense. Well, as I said, we've been doing these things for nine years, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying that's it. Things could change, but so far they're not. Even with binoculars, my uh, vision is getting pretty bad, so this may be the last game I broadcast uh, for KOVE. Highlights of his broadcasting career include broadcasting four state championship football games, three boys basketball state championships, and the 2006 girls championship game, which Lander won. In 2008, Dale was honored during a Lander Riverton game with an official Lander Tiger Voice of the Tigers Letterman jacket. Many former players were on hand for this special event. Dale was able to receive his master's degree from the University of Wyoming in Instructional Technology in 1993. He served as the technician and engineer for the first full test of the University of Wyoming's and state's compressed video system, which was successfully completed. During his teaching career at Central Wyoming College, Dale not only taught radio and television broadcasting, but also religious studies, anthropology, and archeology. span Dale has academic background in these areas as well. Dale's greatest highlights of his teaching at CWC was working with the students. This applied to work at KCWC-FM, the live broadcast lab, 
and students who were interested in sports announcing working at KOVE. Dale beamed with pride when past students visited him to tell him what a difference he made in their lives. In fact, as his vision deteriorated, his color commentator, who was a former student of his at CWC, Nick Hudson, took over play-by-play. -play. Dale thoroughly enjoyed his collaboration of 10 years with Nick, who was also a former Lander Tiger. Dale retired from broadcasting and teaching in 2008 because he had gradually lost his vision as a side effect of chemotherapy. Dale continues his interest in Lander Valley High School sports and radio broadcasting, plus he does what he can when Central Wyoming College needs his help. Dale married his high school sweetheart, Rebecca, in 2000, and they live in Riverton. Dale has two sons, two stepdaughters, daughters-in-law, sons-in-laws, and eight grandchildren who live in Georgia and Florida. Both Dale's mother and father have passed away. And even though Dale may live in Riverton, he is the biggest fan of the Lander Tigers. The Wyoming Association of Broadcasters is honored to induct Dale Smith into the Wyoming Association of Broadcasters Hall of Fame, Class 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, Dale Smith.